Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Hey, just a quick disclaimer to let you guys know what's going on. Instead of the Flashback 15 episode for this month, we are instead doing this video. And instead of making you guys wait till the 15th because we love you guys and Fridays are so awesome, that is why we are dropping it on Friday the 12th. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of Ironworks. So this dude right here is, he's meant to work with these guys right here. And as you can see, they fit just perfectly. And you know what, as a little tiny base, it's okay for these guys. I mean, obviously if you pull up another deluxe, it blows the whole base thing out of the water. Although, technically, Ironworks is this size in comparison to somebody like Sideswipe due to the fact that Ironworks has a robot mode. But aside from that, what I love about the Earthrise figures is again how they can actually interconnect and form slightly bigger bases, something essentially kind of like this. Because again, due to the fact of how you know small these guys are, this forms like a really kind of decent base for them, you know, to, to move around on and stuff. So it ooh, look, look, hey, it worked really well. I'm actually surprised. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ironworks in a secondary base form. Okay, so this is not the official configuration for the tower. Um, welcome to the show. We go AWOL sometimes. Anyway, other than that, guys, this is just one of the many ways you can do it. I mean, it's nothing special, as you can see in comparison to the size of, you know, ones like Flack here. It's not overly huge. Again, this is a deluxe figure. However, due to the nature of this figure, if you wanted to, you could reconfigure it in a way to help it attach to bigger ones like Omega Supreme if you wanted to go ahead and, you know, add it as just one more additional, uh, I guess, gun emplacement. So, you know, because of him being a modulator, I thought, what if he had kind of like a beast slash crab mobile mode? And this is kind of what I came up with because as you can see, he's kind of like stealing the whole, you know, like Cyberverse shockwave vibe, but the thing is, is he's got four legs, and this down here kind of looks like a little bit of a monster's head, like, you know, like a little bit of red eyes, and the shovel kind of forms like a jaw looking thing, so, you know, you could kind of have, imagine, you can imagine it kind of like crawling along, and it's got the, the big old gun coming off the back, so you can kind of give him a mobile mode if, if it is that big of a thing for you. And just for a sense of size comparison to that mode, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea, his, you know, he was, he's condensed in base mode, but if you put him in this kind of, you know, monster tank mode, uh, it does make him just as big as Sideswipe. Now guys, I don't think that Ironworks gets get the full treatment on YouTube, so we're gonna try and show you a couple more things in regards to him, but right now we're showing off his rather magnificent robot mode, which if you can kind of see our guy, he does have a hand kind of sloppily molded into, you know, what forms his left arm. Ironically enough, the arm that doesn't need any help and kind of makes him look like Captain Hook. Uh, that's kind of what I like to pull the gun because it's just kind of like, you know, I, I don't know why. I like, I kind of like that look. Now, from far away, you can't really tell the detail on his face, but once you get up close and you kind of look, even though it's all one color, the detailing is there and everywhere on this figure, the molding is just on point. Again, with the exception being kind of the sloppy hand over here. But aside from that, his robot mode is actually pretty cool. Okay guys, this is just a show off Ironworks and how he looks compared to three different size classes. But let's get to the last part of this video, whenever he serves his final use, that being a modulator. I am not gonna lie, with all this attached to Optimus, I'm kinda getting a very anime feel. Now, there's a lot of things I like about him as attachable battle armor. One of the things that I'm going to go ahead and mention is these giant squared off galoshes down here. That's probably my least favorite deal about the armor. Although he probably could use those big clawed hoppers to totally crush a Decepticon under them. 
Then if we move on to probably one of my favorite features is how he just has this giant hook attachment to his arm where it kind of feels like, you know, maybe he could just like hook onto a Decepticon and like toss him around. And you know what, he may actually do the teeth on the deal, maybe he would be able to do the same sort of thing with the shovel bit or use it like a big fist. And then probably my last favorite thing is how Optimus has this just big over the shoulder cannon. And I just love how it looks. But just to give you a little bit of an idea of size comparison, here he is with Galaxy Convoy, shows you how big he's been boosted. Here he is with Mirage and Sideswipe. So guys, that's just a comprehensive look at Ironworks and what he's capable of. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, uh, but with that being said guys, there's really nothing else to say other than stay on the lookout for Mirage's video, cheeky little plug there, and until next time guys, we will see you in another review.